Ryan Houston from PRD Newcastle. Thanks so much for joining the series. Good to see you, mate. Yes, you too, Trent. Thanks for having me on, mate. Really looking forward to it. Let's talk sea change. Uh, seems to be a lot of people moving around at the moment. Obviously, COVID has changed a lot of things. Are you seeing a lot of Sydney siders move up to your hometown of, uh, of Newcastle? Yeah, what we're seeing a lot of, uh, Trent, is the fact that, uh, especially now that a lot of office spaces now are, are now working from home, and especially, you know, we've been quite lucky here in Newcastle in particular compared to obviously Melbourne, but what we are seeing is those Sydney siders who are, you know, paying crazy rents for a little studio right in the heart of the CBD are now working out that they can uh, work remotely just as efficiently as what they did back in the offices. And, and what we are seeing is this absolute sea change where they can get beautiful beaches at much cheaper prices and still get the job done uh, without the transit time. Uh, they're actually more dollar productive than ever uh, mm. doing it this way from their own home. Yep. And I guess just, just touching on pricing, like how much cheaper is it up in Newcastle than when you uh, when you compared to Sydney? Do you have some, I guess, some ballpark figures on that one? Yeah, well, when you look at the broader region of Sydney, I mean, the, the latest figures are around that 1.3 million median house price is what you go off, which is the average between the, the whole Sydney region. Now, same as Newcastle, I mean, we're made up of two real region being Newcastle and Lake Macquarie. So I've put the both of those together and we're about that $730,000 mark. So look, that's a quite a significant drop when it comes to affordability and prices. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess, are you seeing more first time homeowners wanting to get into Newcastle? Obviously you just mentioned it's, it's a little bit cheaper, but is that a big, I guess, market for, for you? It's just the, the, the young couples or the singles wanting to, to move and to get to that sea change. And there's that, that significant, I guess, price drop. So is that kind of working in your favour? Yeah. Oh, for sure. I mean, the first home buyers right now, $650,000 and under property is absolutely singing out the door. You know, we're seeing 30 groups through open homes. And I mean, PRD, I mean, hats off to uh, the, the team. We've actually got uh, COVID marshals at each of the uh, open homes where we're expecting uh, higher numbers just so we can uh, make sure that we you know, obviously don't want to start the spread or anything like mm. that. We want to be as COVID safe as possible, but just those numbers. And when you hear the news or you hear the newspaper or read the newspaper, you sort of think, well, wow, must be doom and gloom out there. But it's a real true testament to really understanding markets within markets. I mean, mm. right here in Newcastle, I mean, I, I don't want to sound like I'm, I'm, I'm gloating here, but we're very, very lucky in the fact that we really have kept a stable market. Uh, we haven't seen a real drop in prices. We're still seeing great numbers through our open homes. And like I said, that's under 650,000 mark. Uh, it's, it's flying out the door. And you think you're going to see more of an influx? Obviously, there's a lot more uh, work going on in Newcastle. I think 20,000 new workers to come in in Newcastle, new projects and things going on. Do you think that's going yeah. to, I guess, um, pull up the, the property market a little bit more? Well, you know, Trent, this is a, a real this is a real buyer that I'm seeing. This is the sort of uh, you know blueprint of the of the buyer. Newcastle's always been a fantastic educator of people. We've got great university there at Callahan. Uh, they've announced we've got three live universities now in the CBD, uh, which is going to total four universities in this little pocket of Newcastle. Now, traditionally, what we saw was the Newcastle universities, we, we trained up these great young professionals. And unfortunately, they train up, they're they excellent and, and high achievers. However, we just didn't have the job for these guys to really fulfill their potential. What was happening, they were going down to Sydney, they were then uh, fulfilling their potential in a fantastic big law firm or accounting firm. And then they're having a few kids. Now, what we're seeing now is that person is now coming back to Newcastle with their two young kids, uh, they've got the experience at the big law firms. They now have a place to house themselves here in Newcastle, like a Spark Helmore or an NIB, like these big companies. And now that's the real market we're seeing, especially in these higher uh, median house price suburbs like uh, Merriweather, Merriweather Heights, Bar Beach as well. Uh, these people who are used to Sydney prices are coming back and going, wow, this is really good value right on the beach as well. So back with their families and where their friends and back from where they were from. And how's the off market, uh, I guess the, um, sorry, the, uh, the, the new builds going, like the, the brand new properties that are, that are, I guess, coming to market. Obviously that's a lot with, with what you guys do is you concentrate on, on brand new apartments. So how's the um, off the plan apartment uh, sector going? Yeah, so I mean, 
with you were saying the 20,000 new jobs, that's definitely going to help because everything does, does come back to supply and demand. And as you're saying, you know, we do have some excellent infrastructure coming into play. We're not only government infrastructure, but we also have a lot of private investment. We're seeing a lot of developers coming from Sydney, from Canberra, and seeing great opportunities here in Newcastle. So we're seeing, you know, uh, international airports, three live universities getting built as we speak. Uh, then you've also got uh, the, the, the cruise terminal, which you can sort of see in this beautiful map behind me. You know, you've got this working harbour, which Newcastle's always been traditionally known as a, a steel and a coal mining town. Now, we're now a, a healthcare, education, tourism and, a, and an industry that everyone forgets is we have uh, a very large RAF base here being Williamtown RAF base and they've just announced another eight and a half thousand jobs between now and 2036 as well so a lot of driving indicators not only that the economy is going well but we've got the beaches we've got the lakes we've got pretty much it all right now and you've got the Newcastle Knights as well don't forget those guys well that's it I mean the weekend wasn't that impressive but other than that <laughs> we've been going quite well <laughs> And uh, let's talk projects. Um, any great projects coming up? And are you guys got a, always got a bunch of great, great uh, I guess, new projects, but anything uh, specifically you wanted to, I guess, kind of mention or, or highlight? Yeah, well, look, we, we do have a handful and we, we have definitely got market share right now in a lot of the new stuff coming to the market. I mean, uh, the Hunter Street Mall traditionally has been known as sort of the CBD of Newcastle and, and we're, we're in charge of uh, selling the East End Stage 1, Stage 2 at the moment with future plans of stage three and stage four. Now that's over 600 apartments coming here to Newcastle. Not only not only that's going to change the whole landscape, it's gonna be like that. They're even talking about changing it from Hunter Street Mall to the Hunter Street Mill Village, where you're gonna have you know coffee shops, restaurants, little retail shops as well, which is extremely exciting. But then further west, where the city is definitely growing in a commercial aspect, we're seeing a lot more office space uh, getting built out there and also more residential in a little place called Wickham. Uh, Wickham is really the connectivity hub of Newcastle being where our central station, which takes you straight to Sydney, about two hours and 20 minutes to Sydney, uh, is housed there at Wickham. And we're seeing a lot of new developments. So we have a brand new one there called Bowline. We also have another one there called New Fort. Now they're comprising of over 200 units, a part of them. And then there's also a fair bit else going there. But really Wickham's gonna be the connectivity hub of Newcastle. And we're gonna see a lot of population demand and growth in those areas. And contact details let's say i'm a buyer i'm interested i'm i'm after that sea change i'm i'm wanting to move I'm looking for an apartment to buy uh how do i get in contact with you guys yeah feel free to uh, call me directly anytime and uh, i can definitely put you on to a, a team member who may have that listing but my number is 0400 377 424. you can also follow me on instagram at ryan houston prd and also facebook as well but uh, also a lot of our members we've got about 60 staff members here at prd crossing all newcastle lake macquarie new lambton we have the projects division and we also have safe hands property management as well so we can cover all of your property needs Awesome. Ryan Housen, thanks so much for joining the series with Soho. Thanks, Trent. Really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. If you want to check out more, visit SohoApp.com or if you're looking at adding your properties into Soho and connecting your CRM, check out the links in the description below.